Is he safe at 22? I think so. A little bit. I mean, I just don't. I mean, if you're looking at what we just saw, and the, and the players only four have squeezed in. I don't think you're at 22. You're going to play poorly enough to to knock yourself out. Fairway wood for not. You see a very straight driver for the distance that he's able to to take it. 298. You can see he's 33rd, but. Um, Hits a lot of fairways, and he can push an iron. He can push the golf ball through the air pretty quickly with these clubs. Good start by this group. A game of accuracy, but now it's a big boys game. You look at Patrick Reed in the green shirt. Jason Day, I just love the what he does with the wedges. You look at the, the wedge play and, and the less hinging. Just very few moving parts. I mean, it's all with the body rotation. How fast, how quickly am I going to match everything up? The center of my chest, I keep the center of the chest moving with the arms and the club head, moving it down the line, and, and, and I control the distance with the speed that I go through the shot. Down to the first fairway, Sergio with his approach, and John McGinnis is there. He split the center, a little wind out of the left, up high in the trees, but the pendant of the flag hanging limp. Just a wedge in here for Sergio. Blowing and is showing dead down. There we are ahead of a storm by about an hour and a half, and I would think that the winds here are going to be unpredictable. Still, I think if you're Ricky, you take dead aim here. Get back. I can do. Well, it's just not very often you see two players from inside 110 yards miss the green. Oh, Kevin, not 99 yards, great angle. Give Sergio a little, little fake. This is gonna get there. Yep, very good. Now Garcia is third. Not a great lie there, Billy. I'm sitting way down. Yeah. A little different angle, less slope to deal with, but you just can't hit this by the hole too much because it runs away. That's better. And this is the beauty of Pete Dye. This putt is actually back uphill a little bit. From behind the hole. Can't do that. And this is not an easy putt by any means. It's going to swing from right to left, and I think this is a putt that will affect his attitude for the next hour or so. That's uh, going to be a good one, then. Yeah, it's definitely a right lip, though, and the rest of it just depends on pace. He hits those putts so hard. Well, got back in the winner's circle out in Palm Springs and uh, split pretty consistently. One of the few players we've seen go with a wood off this opening hole. From Chad Ford, Pennsylvania, please welcome John O'Hare. in the year for O'Hare, 20th in FedEx Cup points without a victory. How about the leap he made at the Barclays? That, that was so unbelievable because he actually bogeyed the 54th hole and I kind of thought, boy, he's really going to have to kind of hold it together to, to advance the next week. Huh. He did. He did. Off the tee and, and then you have Duffner who's Pretty, pretty much a precision player. That is a lot of power in that golf swing. Low and running. And in the fairway for Gary Woodland, the first two-time. Kind of a hanging lie there. I know that first cut kind of rough. But it might 
might have jumped an exit out here. <laughs> Turns out both of them had a win before the U.S. Open that season. Duffner. 90 yards for Duffner. That's a narrow tunnel oh. where that, green, that flag is, but I agree with you. It's a level shot. The big man can do something. But nope. And not a terrible lie. This shot from Jason yeah. Duffner. Oh, this is gravy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <you>. Really? <laughs> I certainly think so, John. And I was just about to say, just right at eight feet. I find that uh, if they try to elevate the ball or they try to do a little too much that you know, they, they kind of hang back on the right side, and that's just a drill to... Or left! Hybrid. Ooh. Here. Next on the tee. Yep. Well, good to see him playing well and enjoying the game, uh, because up until that win at the PGA... Major in the county in East Carolina. <laughs> Bigger one than that, and that shot's almost impossible. We've seen how well difficult it is to get it right center of the fairway, 95 yards. Let's see if another world-class player can hit the green. I've been here for three groups. I've seen one guy hit the green. Well, that's number two. The first guy that hit the green was Kevin Knight. He made birdie. Jimmy Walker. Dump standings back on the first tee. Our second featured group. Thank you. Uh, Reed, Day, Johnson. Have you got a short one? No, he says it's good for two hours. And this is a good lie. Making it makeable. Not bad. To the T, Reed. And just chasing it down the left hand side of the fairway. That's very good. BMW champion from Australia, Jordan Day. Uh oh. He'll take it. Well, that's about as well as you can handle something like that. Jason's just going to laugh it off. Spieth was in the group with Day when Jason won the PGA Championship last year. Well, we know the PGA hits this club about 270. Next on the team, the 2016 U.S. Open champion. From Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Dustin Johnson. Poor guy. Just lost all his steam now. <laughs> you get to the marquee groups of the day, and you don't even take any pride or, you know, take any enjoyment out of introducing the reigning U.S. Open champion, Dustin Johnson. They could be a little nervous. There's a lot of people crowded around oh, that yeah. They're right on top of the team. Uh, fading. Beautiful. It can happen to anybody. Good tee shots here. Wow. That is deep. Grillo. Very good. That is that. Yeah, perfect. Nothing wrong with that one either. Right on past Knox. <laughs> stay out there with Day and Dustin Johnson and Adam Scott all day long. When he's missing it, the miss is usually left. Average is right at 300 yards. You see it up top, and that's not it enough to like carry green. everything. Uh, there is no green behind it. There is, in fact. So you have to convince yourself. That's what makes Pete Dye such a master. Well, that and was the shorter. Do things like that. Yeah, that was the shorter of the two clubs, John. They didn't want to. Well, Austin stepped in and sort of backed him off. That's from 89 yards. Good job, Austin. 
Good job, Austin. Yeah. That was that was an yeah, almost yeah. right there. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna hit it fat because the lie you have is just not good. That may have caught the lip. I think so. Easier from close than from a hundred to one. Read third. Yeah, John. An atrocious. And that's a strange little area to hit from. Could have put a lot it. of sense at the first hole no, right now. Absolutely not. No. Greed all. Just kind of play it in there mid height. Really don't try to do anything too fancy. Downwind. Couldn't get it to slow down well, enough. That much in this left center. Fairly flat. Hello. First for Bird. Should move a little bit to his right, going with the tilt. Three. Now Jimmy Walker back up the hill. 16 feet. Go ahead and put some pace behind this one. Boy, he is so good with this club right here. Now that'd be a little bit of a misread there. Justin Johnson. That's 327 to carry the bunkers at the corner, so surely they're playing out to the right. Well, that's what I DJ like how did. we make it so it seems so simple too. It's 327, Dustin. Just just hit it. Well, uh, this one's gonna test it. This is hooking. That wasn't the really hard swing. Oh, and that's going to be right there yeah, in front. Yeah, he plays pretty quickly. I mean, he's uh, he makes his decisions quickly. Uh, he sees the shot, and then he goes ahead and puts it in motion. In the front there. Yeah, this is the one they don't use much at Pebble Beach. It's very reminiscent of the 17th green at Pebble Beach. Hourglass shaped. And Pretty good. Yeah. Getting better. Now, DJ ready to go. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fluffed out of there. Boy, Second really good, Jason Day. Up short. Well, he and Colin Swatton said they wanted to land it just over the bunker. Oh, just such an impossible task Hello for the off. This young man right here, uh, I watched him at the PGA Championship, and when this club right here warmed mm. up, he absolutely... Hard shot here, John. Well, at least it came out of its pitch mark. Oh, <laughs> look at this right here. <laughs> that that is sensational. Right here, Billy. Oh, good, oh, good. good. but he is so good. I mean, if you lie, but some green to work with uphill. B. Par three, this for par. Well, it is uh, not a whole lot of green to work with running away. But uh, in three well, years, uh, really hasn't cracked the top top 25. And that is a start for Jason Day that I did not see, Jane. No, and it was, it, it's just a, a game They're of inches. They're so easy to aim. If you, if you can get comfortable with the pacing of it, There's so much easier to aim than anything else. It doesn't look like he really goes out of that hard, but it's just efficiently powerful. Well, you see those bunkers sprinkled out there. Yeah, all down the right side. And you have the one down the left. Dustin Johnson at the par three third. And this is tugged, trying to fade to catch a little portion of the green, but Ooh, that that's down. a bad mistake. Yeah. First two holes. This is just right on the flag and fading.
Grillo with his tee shot at the fourth. That looked like a good swing. Yeah, that was, that was that was a positive and aggressive swing. That was very nice. It just sits. Jason, I'm trying to figure out which That's way the wind is blowing here. Folks around here all know that no two consecutive holes go the same direction. Part of Pete Dye's gem, and so how can this be downwind when the last hole was downwind? Because that's what it feels like. Well, that reaction kind of... Well, and the last part of this little pitch actually runs away from him. Uphill there with plenty of the green, but now it goes downhill. It. It. And it'll just keep tripping this away. That's another... And his hands are oh. gold today. Oh. Beautiful. Well, that's why you're number one in scrambling in the first two playoff events. Now, Grillo with his second at the fourth. Have a little bit of tree trouble there, at least visually anyway. No problem at all. Look at that shot. Right at flag high. Good look at that grip. Yeah, pretty standard traditional grip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna yeah, miss I'm a couple of five footers. How about that? Two birdies a par. His second at the fourth. Has to come over that bunker from this angle. Yeah, it was a tough this shot. This is about 90 feet all the way to the hole. There's that ridge. It crawls up, then it kind of flattens out. Now Patrick Reed with his tee shot at the fourth. Wind in from the left and a little bit of rain falling now. This is needs a kick to catch the right edge of the fairway. Yeah. Did not get it, but the light. And it's getting darker and darker out here, although the radar still does look clear. And this is just ripped, turning over to the left. He can't reach that bunker out there, can he? No. That's, that's no, really good. Today. And John, yeah, he's, uh, uh, using talking about uh, Jason Day, he'll fiddle with his driver the way that Phil fiddles with his putter. I mean, he's not afraid to change the shaft, the head, whatever. This is DJ doesn't need to change anything with his driver right now. But John, it hasn't been uh, hasn't been working. So you know, it's par. Oh, terrific! Walk That's an excellent up and down. Five, fifth. T shot. <laughs> I'll tell you, 607. It's substantial. This is a big boy's bar five right here. And I was about to say crucial that you hit the fairway, and that was... Seems to be better now. Reload's tee shot. Yep. And that one. The base is down the fairway, and just as we've seen on the... Back into the breeze. Very complicated shot. Go, go hard. And the ball looks like the cycling line. That first cut starts to carry that bunker in front. It looks like he might have pulled another one. Oh, well, faded back, but just not quite okay, enough. Right before him. Yeah, about that 348 was to that bunker. <laughs> he has about 12 yards of green over that front bunker. Sounded like it might have been a bit heavy. This one. Yeah, that ball ended up into the yeah, wind. It's in line the bunker. Long motor shot, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a little unlucky there. there. The driver when he digs this out. Yeah, not much wrist really action at all. Out from under it. Beautiful. Four steps on the green. I think with a little less loft, you run the ri you don't run the risk of doing Pretty that. Butter that didn't get hot with anything, but I don't think there's a cure all Walker, no. that he's going to have. With the par five, and that's not too right. bad. Uh, sneak it past that, that was bunker a at three thirty. Maybe you give yourself a chance. Maybe not Patrick Reed, but the other two probably can. Oh, he's got to start hitting, start hitting some fairways. Some fairways. Yeah, the third for Emiliano Grillo. And that was just a product of what the, there is the, the right. Just, 
We could see something in the 350 range here if he hits the fairway. Well, this started to the right. Oh, he got a favorable right. kick, and I mean, this is a monster tee shot. An absolute monster. That'd be a nice gear to have. Well, it kind of landed in the same area, but wouldn't that be something if he walks away with four? Bad and the ugly. Just a little See it all. Yeah, that wasn't. Go up to the par three six. <laughs> 209 yards yeah. today. This is just a beautiful golf hole. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely yeah. shot set all now. 250. Yeah, yeah okay. okay, they're up a little, but. That's ridiculous. I was thinking the same that's thing, John. That's not even that long. Yeah, that's not even that longest iron that he has. That's that's a four iron. <laughs> Could have used a little more. Yeah. yeah, but that's a smart leave, I think. Oh, and this could be really good. It's fine. The greens are soft enough, but this will take some precision. Oh, you can Six see it just land on the... Gathered some friends together and threw in some money and built this fabulous golf course. So, I mean, you know, we love seeing these guys play the ball along the ground like that. Yeah, that's... Well, uh, and there's not a great deal of contrast in speed, although he didn't hit that one hard enough. Yeah. Jimmy Walker, between par three. Boy, he hit a good-looking iron shot for it not to get closer. A little bit unlucky. Very low. Up at the par three. Mm, they're Watch beautiful. The, head. the ball will come off the putter head, and the head will stay down for a little yeah. bit longer. I mean, that, that is just beautiful. Leal and Grillo going with less than driver. Uh, it looks like he slipped a little bit there, Jane. It did, and... and you know, when it's a little misty, I think uh, those kind of shoes, yeah, that, and that's gone out of bounds. That is out of bounds, and I don't, I don't think he knows. <laughs> well, yeah. some are, you know, some are um, soft spikes, and some are more spikeless, and those are the real true spikeless. Well, well this is not a good display. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really daunting hole. This is just to the right of the flag, and hanging right there, straight as a string. Well, that is just towering yeah, no the other players. That's a prayer. Now, tee shot for Grillo after the, the tee shot went out of bounds. So he now lays Take three it here on this part. Yeah, that's what he's done. Fading away from the flag a little bit. Easy now. He doesn't want to fade any more than that. Provisional. This is a provisional for a lost ball because Walker's ball was well to the right and that was going to fescue so i don't know if they've located the ball but that's that's a provisional yes. now patrick reed and this one's starting right needs to turn over this bringing the water into play Oof, just cleared it it's a great par three yeah they did it well before yeah. he was out he was pitching it at like 10 o'clock and then driving range 45 minutes later. Oh, see so Jane how easy that part was? <laughs> well, maybe it was hip hop. Oh, it would have gone in wow. if it had more pace. Hole, Jimmy Walker in another fairway bunker. He was short of the fairway bunker, then blasted it up into this greenside bunker and has that. Yeah, I didn't have that much, that much. Mm, be fairly aggressive with this one, just slightly back uphill.
tough tee shot. Here's Reed on that tee at the seventh. Well, this one headed just a little bit up the right hand side. And can see from down one. The so a lot on the line here for the Texan. Very traditional grip. A bogey for Jimmy Walker to the tee at seven and day. Oh, we came right out of that one. Yeah, that's headed way right. Outside of yeah. the spectators and finally comes down. When you could. There you go. Out of bounds left. We saw a couple to the right. DJ right in the middle.